Hey guys. So I got requested to do a brushing video. I'm just gonna do like a regular routine brushing video and it's not gonna be anything special really. But since this was requested and it was one of the easiest one I, ones that I can do, I'm just gonna do it really fast today. So I hope this helps. So I'm going to show you exactly what I use and in order that I use it. I first use a curry comb. You can use a soft curry comb or a hard curry comb. And the soft ones are going to have these little bumps all over. I actually have two of them and I can show you that in a second. But um, as for brushes, I just use a regular hard brush after the curry comb to just get all the dirt and hair that's on the surface now that I brought up from this curry comb. And then after that, I use my show sheen spray it gets out tangles dirt and everything so i use this after all of this i spray it on her booty on her legs on her shoulder on her mane and tail and on her the front of her and obviously like her legs like i said the front legs and back legs i do not put it though under her stomach or on top of her back because that's where her saddle would normally go and you do not want it to slip off karma get out of there um she was looking for treats. Um, and then after all of that, after I brush her mane and tail, then I do the hooves last. And the reason why I do this last is because I feel like during the brushing, if I did it first, she would uh, catch more dirt and sand into her hooves. So I just do it last so that it's the last thing before I ride. Come on, get out of there. No. I know you want the treats, but we don't need them right now. what another curry comb looks like it, uh, it has one soft side like this and it's just you know to get the dirt out and then there has a, a harder side for more dirt but I use the harder brush because it helps when they're shedding so that's what I use. I use it all the time so first I'm going to start out with this I'm going to see if I can get this on camera well you can see that side good so I'm going to start off with circular motions like this stop moving you start off with circular motions like this, where there's especially dirt and stuff. And I'm just going to brush it like this. All over. See all the dirt coming off? I don't know if you can see that. There's hair and dirt. Circular motions. We're going to do this everywhere. I do it down her leg, but I stop where her um, hawk would be. So I just do it down her leg right there, and then I stop. Because their legs can be sensitive, and I just use a soft brush or like one of those hard brushes to just brush off the dirt. And then I wash her legs sometimes too. I'm just gonna do it in circular motion. I haven't been up here in a while, so she thinks she can get away with everything. That was an attempt to move. <laughs> that was a warning. If she does it again, she's gonna get a butt beat. <laughs> Do this for a while and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side because you always want to do the same thing on each side unless it's like their main because their main is only on one side normally. That. You don't need to itch right now. She's an itch on her leg. And as you see, I put pressure on her to get her to move. If she does not move from that pressure, I go harder pressure. So that's what I do and then she'll stop and then I stop as soon as she moves. And with the lead rope, when I want her to move forward, I hold it for a second until she moves and then I let go as soon as she moves up. If she moves too far, I put her back a little bit so I get her in the right place and she understands what I'm trying to say. You don't want to confuse your horse by yanking on the lead rope like this because see, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna work. Come on, come on. She's just gonna stand there and be like, what the heck are you doing? So you don't want to do that. So you just want to make sure that they don't get confused with what you're saying. Push, 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 no, no, no. I want her to pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't want her to be too alert, but I don't want her to be confused either. So I want to make sure that she knows what I'm doing to her. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to do the brushing step. She's going to take it like this and flick it. So it's just going to flick the dirt off. And then I'm going to take this. You're gonna spray this. Make sure your horse is used to this before you spray because they get nervous around it. And then I'm gonna brush through her tail. 
and I have a video of how to brush a horse's tail and I have a video of how to pick a horse's hooves. So that's my brushing routine. I hope this helped.